I'm Naoko Mori from Torchwood, and you are watching Fearnet. You know, for the unfortunate few who haven't seen Torchwood, mm -hmm. uh, could you explain the basic premise? Basically, Torchwood is like a covert agency. It's separate from the government, beyond the United Nations, but also we solve crimes uh, using alien technology. We scavenge alien technology. And I play a character called Tosh, who is uh, the technical genius, sort of into gadgetry and, and communication and computers. And you relate really pretty closely to Tosh? I am kind of a geek. I, I, I think um, that's our biggest thing. That's the biggest thing I have in common with Tosh. Uh, but yeah, definitely a bit, bit of a geek. But I think everyone's a geek, you know? Deep down, yeah. There's 200,000 of them down the street that you'll, <laughs> you'll be meeting this weekend. <laughs> I know, it's really exciting, but I'm... Actually, I'm getting a little bit nervous and scared. Um, I've never done a, a convention before, um, and everyone I spoke to is I. you have no idea how big Comic-Con is, so um, I'm getting very scared, and I would like a drink now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. What draws you to the show? It's kind of like takes another twist on the, the whole sort of time and space element that Doctor Who plays up on. Torchwood is probably one of the best written TV shows on the TV right now. The little fangirls in both of us just, we get really excited when it's on on Saturdays. We like stop everything, no calls, don't talk to us, Torchwood is on. For those who are new to Torchwood, who are just discovering the show, could you talk a little bit about Yanto, um, your character? Yeah, he's, he's the sort of um, butler, the sort of Alfred uh, to Batman's cave, as it were, to, to the hub, to their, to their base. Um, he gets them every on time, he's the one in the suits, he's, he's very regulated, he's got a, a, a stopwatch to, uh, to keep time, he's, he's that precise. Um, there's a bit of a romance interest between him and Captain Jack, who's, who's, who's the leader of the organisation. And um, <laughs> there's quite... Uh, it's quite an obvious romantic relationship between <laughs> between Yanto and Captain Jack. Um, yeah, and he, he, he's, he's sort of the logical one, the, the, the sensible one that keeps everybody in order, um, with occasionally a, a stabbing, dry wit. What draws me to Torchwood is uh, John Barrowman and the base of the story. And who's your favorite character and why? It would be him because he is the leader, and basically because the man is hot. My mom likes Yanto, um, but I really fell in love with the character of Gwen because she's the most relatable of all of them. Uh, favorite episode is probably the second season premiere because of that great bar fight scene with James Marsters. So just a blast to watch. Um, do you have a favorite episode or a favorite moment from the show? Well, I have to say, I guess the ultimate one was the last episode. I mean, that was incredibly hard emotionally, um, everything. It, it was just, yeah, it's almost like I, I can't remember what happened because it was quite intense. Um, but I do like, especially with Tosh, she goes through sort of emotional stuff and I love those kind of episodes. Comic-Con, what's it been like for you so far? Um, absolutely manic. I've done a few conventions back home when I, I did the Polaris convention in, in, in Toronto, but uh, this is just unbelievable. It is huge. And uh, you, you can't get bored here because you, you, you sat here uh, uh, signing and the, the same person doesn't walk past twice. And the costumes, some of the girls' costumes are also pretty awesome in the sense that there's not much of them. Could you talk about the circumstances that, you know, led to your departing from the show? The decision came from Russell and Julie and the writers and the producers. Um, and I think it was a good decision. Uh, of course, it's sad. Um, and, and to be honest, I was sad about leaving the show and leaving Tosh and, and to say goodbye to everyone. But I think it was the right time. And I honestly believe that. In real life, what's your greatest fear? Um, my greatest fear in life is uh, falling. Yeah, I've, got, I've got vertigo problems, which has only develop, developed over the past few years. I used to have no problem with it. My greatest fear? <laughs> For some reason, I, I imagine a pool of, like, worms. 